Uh, hi, welcome to my vlog. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, so I've got an update, but uh, as you can see, I have been working on it uh, on the model layout. Uh, first thing you notice is that, that I've got some uh, just some bits of hardwood up for blue background covering up the table seal on the lights. Uh, but yeah, finish this bit and there and up there as well. Uh, for reasons that will become apparent, but yep, yep, at least I've got the main sections in. Uh, we'll decorate these and put some uh, artwork on it, so it looks like a, a town or a mountain. But maybe if I've got something to work on now, a blank canvas, so to speak. Uh, you'll also see that I've made some modifications to this part of the, the layout. Um, did have a race, two race sections here. Uh, and what I since found is that the, 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 they were just a little bit too steep. Um, not all of my trains uh, could run on them. I've got, now I've got two English trains, and they weren't very happy with going up the hill. Uh, so what I've done um, is that my friend uh, Martin earlier said, uh, why don't you put some bridges in it? Uh, well, that's cool, but it's probably too late for me now. Well, I took this opportunity to correct that. Uh, since I've uh, got some uh, new bridges, uh, here's one. He's, he's in place, not, not fixed quite yet, uh, but he's already in place, just to sh get the line running. Um, so it's a metal uh, girder bridge. Uh, of course, that resulted in me buying or putting these uh, new raised sections in. Um, it is quite a steep incline, yeah. I've not fixed any of this down yet because, uh, as I'll show you in a bit, I've got another section to put in. Um, but yeah, this took, took a fair amount of work to get perfectly right. And because this diesel train is really happy with going up it, no problem whatsoever. Um, but the, the locos with more wheels, especially small bogies at the front, um, are very sensitive to going up uh, curved inclines. Now, thankfully, um, my other trains did go up this uh, very well, uh, so I'm really happy with it. It took a lot of time, a lot of patience, and uh, it all works. Um, mostly straight, there's a bit of flex track in there that joins up everything. Um, that went quite well, probably uh, the best bit of flex track I've done so far. I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, a lot of uh, models in there and uh, these corners as well. Um, you see, I haven't got the supports in there quite yet. We'll be putting those in later uh, once I've got all the heights doubled up. Um, it's about four centimetres high, uh, which is quite an incline for these, these little trains. Uh, but this is uh, the, the kit that Fala makes that do do the raised inclines, and uh, yeah, it, uh, the other trains seem to fit with it really well as well. Uh, I'm happy for the height. Uh, I'll be running the river under here eventually. Uh, you'll see that here I've rejigged things around because I wasn't really happy with uh, these points. Uh, trains kept cutting off and Lord knows what else. Uh, so I rejigged them around. And you'll see that the, the outer section of the track also leads to nothing because that is where the next set of bridges will go. Um, on the outside. This, this is the tireless radius on here uh, for the race section, which is an R2 radius. Um, this one here you'll see is an R1. And uh, that will eventually go around here. I'm going to have to do some modifications to the wall. <laughs> um, but yeah, and you've got all that space over there uh, for those things. Have a look. And this is what I'm working on at the moment. Uh, um, the first of uh, several uh, viaducts. Um, this is the, obviously the part where the, the rails will go. Uh, go on top here. There we go, there it goes now. And that's what I'm building at the moment these little supports. And um, you can see by the size of my thumb. And there's six parts in there, obviously, to make this box shape. Yeah, it's fiddly. <laughs> but yeah, we'll look good once it's all done. Uh, I've got um, two corners and two straights. So all in all, that will go in the back part of here. Um, 
really enjoying it. Um, a lot of hard work. Sometimes it can be frustrating, uh, especially getting things really perfect. Uh, it's it's uh, a labour of love. But, uh, happy that the train's uh, running well. Um, the little diesel one, NS diesel train going around. There we go. Over the bridge. Down he goes. Uh, another thing I'm thinking of is um, to make a platform here. So this section, make a platform here. So I think that would be a challenge because obviously it's bespoke, uh, bespoke so it's got a fend in it. Um, I've got a platform uh, to build. Um, so I think it's, yeah, it will be uh, nice. It's got a straight bit and just a small bend in it, and just probably cutting it will do it, or maybe getting the hair dryer to bend it. Uh, shouldn't be too tricky. I know you can get kits that have bends in them. Um, I'd rather not do that, but, uh, given I've already got a platform. But I will give that a try. I will see how it goes. It's got a very sharp uh, bend. Uh, it'll be a nice place for the trains to stop here. I mean, I'll put a, another station here on, the, on this mountain section, and then from here you'll have like the, the other bits and pieces that will go on the mountain. Uh, all way in the future, but yeah, it will be cool. There goes the diesel. Up he goes. I'll stop this and I'll have one try of running the. Uh, one of my English trains around.